Moving on then, now we're looking at distances to planes, and the first thing we're going to look at is the distance from the origin to a plane. So if I draw myself a lovely plane here, and we're going to do this in general terms first and then look at a specific example. Okay, so the distance from the origin to the plane, the principal idea here is that that distance will be perpendicular to the plane. So if I have the origin here, there will be a point on the plane which I get to if I move along a perpendicular line to the plane. Okay, so that point P is on the plane and the vector OP is perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so if the equation of the plane is the equation in general r dot n equals p, where n is the normal vector and r is the position vector of any point on the plane, then I should be able to substitute in here and say, well, o to p dotted with the normal vector must give me the scalar product for any point on this plane. That's fair enough. But the normal vector here is the perpendicular vector. So the movement from the origin up to this point here must be a multiple of the normal vector, because the normal vector is definitely running in that direction. So we can call the vector O to P, lambda, the unknown multiple, lots of the normal vector to the plane. Okay, so if I have a think about that and I substitute in up here, so O P is lambda lots of the normal vector, and that vector needs to be dotted with the normal vector, pops up again, and what I get is the scalar product. Hmm. Let's have a look at what this, how this uh, works if we expand it out. So let's take it in its three dimensions and we'll call the vector n, let's just generalise it to abc. So we have lambda lots of some unknown vector abc dotted with abc has to give me a scalar product p. Okay, so lambda lots of a squared plus b squared plus c squared gives me a scalar product p, and therefore lambda, the multiple here, is p over a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Okay, now you might have spotted something that's happening here. What we're actually looking for is the distance. So the distance is the magnitude of the vector op, which is equivalent to lambda lots of the magnitude of the normal vector hope that makes sense. I now know what lambda is in terms of everything else to do with the plane. So since lambda is p over a squared plus b squared plus c squared, my distance, if I substitute that in, I can write as p over a squared plus b squared plus c squared multiplied by the magnitude of n. You might be able to see where this is going. Let's have a look at this a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So n is the vector a, b, c. The magnitude of the normal vector is the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So the distance from the origin to the plane turns out to be p, which here is the scalar pro product related to the plane, divided by something which is equivalent to the magnitude of n squared multiplied by the magnitude of the normal vector. Let me simplify that. I end up with the distance is p divided by the magnitude of the normal vector. which is a very useful little formula. Okay, And if we apply it to the example that was at the top of the page, trying to find the distance from the origin to the plane r dot 2 minus 3, 1 equals 5, all I need to do is take the scalar product and divide by the modulus of the normal vector. So my distance from the origin to the plane at 9, 10 is 5 over root 14. 